when it comes to profiling market profile exclusively, are you using the volume profile at all? Um, I look at the volume profile, but I'm, I'm more of a TPO guy, time, price, opportunities. Um, yeah. Uh, and, and again, that goes back to when I used to trade the SPY prior to trading futures, the SPY um, volume profile was useless to a point mm. because the open and print kept the volume pro uh, POC um, skewed from where it would be on the futures. It has big prints during the day. And then the closing print is also large. So it always distorted the volume profile. So I was always used to the TPO and basically carried that over to the futures. Yeah, very interesting. So your from your perspective, the reason you use market profile over volume profile, is it exclusively just because this is what you've learned on, this is what you're familiar with? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, okay, very good. What would you say, would you agree with the fact that the market profile is the okay the first thing that was brought forward when we had maybe this idea of looking at real time market generated information and being able to categorize it in this unique way and when it launched forward we didn't have the data capabilities to see every single price how much was happening so we chunked it off into these time frames uh, 30 minute chunks and then as technology evolved we now have the ability to see every single price every single transaction that's happening and this can get delivered right to your home um, and so the natural evolution of the market profile was the volume profile where we could now see this. And in relation to market profile, volume profile, the volume profile is just a natural evolution of what the market profile gave us. Right. I do agree with that 100 um, percent with the evolution of volume profiles definitely become more prevalent in a lot of people's trading. Um, but again, I learned when I learned the profile back in 2011, it was more it was all based on the TPO. Now, I yeah. I learned a volume profile also, but the TPO to me, I liked it better. I think um, seeing the, the TPO point of control move um, mm -hmm. is a little more anchored at times, whereas volume pock a lot of times catches up later. Um, you mm -hmm. see that a lot where the TPO is being raised or lowered, and then later in the day, the volume pock might follow. So it's nice to have them both go in the same direction at some point to confirm a move, but... I think the TPO for me gives me a better uh, guide earlier uh, as the day is forming. Yeah, and it's a beautiful thing. I think that it's misleading to say that you know there's there's no wrong way to do things because there's a lot of wrong way to do things. <laughs> but when we're talking about the right way to do things, there is not this exact blueprint. And I feel like I've been having this conversation a lot with a lot of different traders, how um, it is so important to get ideas and to learn things, but then there has to come this radical self responsibility where you have to be doing something that makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a lot of cases, there can be different versions. And in a sense, even with, I think you and our styles, uh, maybe a good way to say it is, you know, we can be brothers and sisters without being twins. And I think in a lot of ways that needs to, that's the natural outcome of it. 